What you mean is, considering how many years I've been around, it's amazing that I'm doing the millimeter so late in my life. Nothing's really stopped me. Nobody's really asked me to do the millimeter before. Um, I guess, and, and if I was, I mean, people had mentioned it, but I don't think I really wanted to do it before. When I was racing as busily as I was, I wanted to race. I didn't want to cruise at high speed. I wanted to race. And I was so busy racing that it took time away from other races around the world. And so I just never got around to do it. And I think people also thought that I'd lost interest. I'm really looking forward to it very much. I mean, you just walk in this amazing hall and you see these spectacular cars around. I mean, there's such a variety of amazing machinery. I, I walk, when I walked in, I went, I'd hate to insure this lot. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just remarkable when you see what, what people brought out for the day, for the week. I mean, some of the cars you can hardly get in. I mean, they're so small. And, you know, even the Jaguar, this beautiful C-type that I'm driving, you know, even then, the, my foot, I can't get it really off the clutch that well. And the wheel is in my knees. People must be much smaller in those days. So how the hell people like, you know, Duncan Hamilton and Tony Rolt and those guys could get in who are taller and a little bit more rotund than me, I can't imagine. I think comfort is going to be one of the problems, but I won't know till I've done half a day or, you know, half, two or three hours. Generally, the seating is really uncomfortable and you, because they're, they're straight vertical seats. They don't have any inclination on them, so your back is not supported, and I find that really quite unpleasant. I just sat in the car just now, so I know it really well.